How to increase emergency funds. Ever find yourself wondering how to build a financial safety net that can weather any storm? Today we're diving into the essential steps on how to increase your emergency funds, ready to secure your financial future. Let's get started. What will you need? Building an emergency fund is a crucial aspect of financial planning, with experts generally recommending three to six months worth of household expenses. Understanding your monthly spending is the initial step in this process. Data from the US The Bureau of Labor Statistics revealed an average annual expenditure of $60,060 per consumer unit. Although individual expenses may differ from the average, the prospect of accumulating funds for even three months can be daunting. Many individuals, upon seeing the substantial figures, may instinctively feel overwhelmed, thinking, I can't come up with that kind of money. Despite the challenge, establishing a financial safety net is a gradual process that involves disciplined saving. By assessing and strategizing based on your own expenses, you can take practical steps toward achieving a more secure financial future. The road to a robust emergency fund may seem demanding, but the peace of mind it brings is invaluable in times of unforeseen financial strain. Why so much? Accumulating a substantial emergency fund is essential in today's uncertain economic landscape, particularly given the unpredictability fueled by events like the recent pandemic. Traditional notions of corporate loyalty have faded, making unexpected unemployment a harsh reality. Even without global crises, unforeseen expenses such as health emergencies or major repairs can arise at inconvenient times. While the prospect of setting aside, for instance, $15,015 may seem overwhelming, it's crucial to consider this amount relative to broader financial goals. In the grand scheme, even a six-month emergency fund is modest compared to what is needed for retirement. Savvy investors understand the significance of amassing funds that provide financial independence. When viewed in the context of a 20- or 30-year retirement horizon, the three-month expense cushion might appear modest. It's important to recognize that the initial challenge of building an emergency fund is a small investment compared to the substantial savings required for retirement. Ultimately, establishing financial security through an emergency fund is a wise and manageable step in navigating life's uncertainties. Crunching the numbers. It involves treating it as a financial goal and developing a strategic plan. Begin by calculating your monthly expenditures, with housing, transportation and food likely being the primary contributors, constituting around 62% of the average household income of $73,573 before taxes. Once your monthly expenses are determined, multiply that figure by 3 to establish your initial goal. Assuming an initial target of $10,000 and monthly outline savings required for both a five-year and a two-and-a-half-year plan. For a five-year timeline, saving approximately $166.67 per month will help you reach the three-month emergency fund goal. Alternatively, opting for a more aggressive two-and-a-half-year plan requires setting aside $333.33 monthly. This approach underscores the importance of consistency in saving to gradually build a financial safety net. By breaking down the goal into manageable monthly contributions, you can steadily progress toward achieving the recommended three-month emergency fund, providing peace of mind and financial resilience in the face of unexpected challenges. Have you ever faced a financial curveball that left you wishing you had a more robust emergency fund? Tell us in the comment below. If you could go back in time and give your past self one piece of financial advice, what would it be? We would love to hear your valuable opinions. Putting your plan into action. It doesn't always require major sacrifices. Simple adjustments can make a significant impact. Consider opting for a more affordable car and trimming down your cell phone plan. Skipping vacations, cutting dining expenses and saving bonuses or raises are practical ways to contribute to your fund. Consistency is key. Treat your emergency fund contribution like a recurring bill, allocating the necessary amount from each paycheck. It's crucial to prioritize paying yourself first, challenging the common reluctance to do so. If establishing a dedicated savings program feels daunting, start small collect pocket change in a jar or explore micro-investing platforms like Acorns. Other strategies include dining at home and allocating the money saved to your emergency fund. Windfalls such as cash back from credit cards or paying off significant debts can also fortify your fund.
Even dedicating just $5 per day can accumulate to $1,825 annually, totaling $9,125 over five years. The key is to start now, whether through small daily contributions or more substantial adjustments to build a financial safety net for unforeseen circumstances. Where to put the money? Opt for money market funds or high interest savings accounts to safeguard your emergency fund. These options provide a balance of safety and liquidity, ensuring easy access to your money when emergencies arise. The structure makes it less tempting to dip into the fund impulsively, and in addition to the security, these choices offer a modest return on your funds, making them practical and potentially rewarding avenues for your financial safety net. The bottom line. View your emergency fund as an insurance policy, safeguarding it diligently. Resist using it for non-essential expenses. It's not a piggy bank. Increase the amount as your income rises to align with your financial situation. Only tap into the fund in genuine emergencies, spending it judiciously. Keep in mind that replenishing the fund takes longer than expected once spent. Start saving now, even if it's a modest amount. An emergency fund enhances your ability to navigate crises without resorting to credit card debt or personal loans, providing a financial safety net for unforeseen challenges. Thanks for joining us on this journey to bolster your financial resilience. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe for more valuable insights. Until then, take charge of your finances and thrive.